Okay, so this is my friend Mason here, and uh, he's going to, he's volunteered to take a pepper ball or two in the name of science to uh, find out if they're effective. You're yeah, looking? pretty much. Uh, you just hit up Facebook one day and asked if anybody wanted to do it, and uh, I figured I would take the chance because I am interested in non lethal weapons and being able to use them so you don't have to worry about harming another individual's life, but at least protecting yourself individually. So that's what, one of the biggest reasons why I went ahead and volunteered for this. All right, so in the name of science, I'm going to give you two pepper balls about right there. What do you think? Let's go. I'm not going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Although, if you were a bad guy, I'd shoot you in the face. That's right. <laughs> That's where we want it. Definitely stings. I can feel it. I'm trying to get a good smell. It doesn't, it's not like it's uh... It's not like, in I would, I would say it's not doing anything to me. It's not incompatible. No. No, it's getting stronger though. Well, that's where I hit him. It looks like I've hit him twice in the same spot. Alright, so uh, we saw what it did to your chest. Uh, how did it feel? Well, it definitely was, um, if I was a rushing assailant, it would have definitely stopped me for a second, unless I was probably on drugs or adrenaline, I would have been able to just completely look past that. So, as a saying for everyday non-lethal use to carry, yes, um, if you're going to use it for an every, every day, I would probably get a, um, pro I would get a more expensive pepper ball. Um, or I'd get a better the, round. Well, of course, I could have used the rubber balls, and if, if the pepper ball hurt, then the rubber would have hurt. The rubber ball will definitely <laughs> drop somebody. I've seen that before, and um, that probably would be one of the biggest things I would use on an assailant, is just have that against this pepper ball. Now, Unless, keep in mind, we are out here with the wind is blowing about 20 miles an hour. True. Uh, I so think we should do this another time in an indoors closed area um, to get a better effect to see how that would go. But then again, you could be outdoors when this yeah. happens. So based on so, based on the experiment we just did, I think I would rather keep it loaded with rubber balls. Yes, I would definitely do that. And, and if the pepper, and the rubber ball weighs like three or four times the amount that that pepper ball does. So if the, pe the pepper ball bruised you up like that, then I can only imagine what the rubber ball would feel like. No, I could, I could definitely see the rubber ball dropping somebody because I have a good, um, I'd say if I didn't know how to breathe properly, <laughs> like through my, <laughs> like in out and in, in through my mouth, I wouldn't be able to breathe very well right now. Because breathing in like this, like, is very painful. I can feel that. Really? Yeah, it's painful. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Now I owe you dinner. Yes, you do. <laughs> Wherever you want.